G'day, welcome back to the channel, my name is Brett and in this video I just thought I'd talk about the visa that I chose to come and retire in Thailand. Now I had a friend who was looking at coming to Thailand as well so um, we bounced ideas off one another and, and we ended up deciding on uh, a particular type of visa. Now this visa is uh, called an OA, non-immigrant multi-entry visa. It's a 12 month visa and you get it in the country of uh, where you are. Um, so you, you get it through the Thai embassy in your country. Now this one is a 12 month visa. Um, the application costs about $300 um, but there's some things you have to attach to that application as well that cost you a little bit of money. Um, one of the things you need to do is to get a police clearance. Um, I did that online and it cost me about $45 I think at the time. This is a few years ago now. Um, I, I applied for this visa back in January 2019. So things may have changed um, with the dollar things and that. Uh, you need to check that out yourselves. One of the other things you had to have with the application was a personal data sheet which asks you all, all sorts of information and that, so you just fill that out. Uh, that just doesn't cost anything. It's um, just your information. One of the other things you have to do is to get a medical study or a medical clearance. Now the medical clearance, um, you go to a healthcare professional, of course. Um, you know, if you're covered by Medicare, you bulk build, it's not gonna cost you anything. Uh, where I went, my doctor usually cost me about 50 bucks. And um, in, in that medical, you have to be cleared for elephantitis, stage three syphilis, tuberculosis, um, drug dependency, and leprosy. Now the drug dependency one, you, I had to get a drug test and that cost me a, another $50. So, um, but I got all that, it's all cleared. This, this visa is for people who are 50 years and older. So a lot of people call it a retirement visa, but it's, it's not really a retirement visa. Um, I think you can use retirement as one of the reasons why you want the visa, but it's not called a retirement visa. A lot of people get confused about that, but it's, um, it's just a, a 12 month visa. But one of the things you can do with this visa is you can enter Thailand and after almost 12 months you can leave the country come back in and they'll stamp you for another 12 months you can't really do that now uh, not easily pardon me um, but when I did it uh, just before my visa was about to expire I went down to Kuala Lumpur for um, a couple of days, flew back uh, into Chiang Mai, and when I came back, they stamped me in for another another 12 months, which which was really, really good. Um, with this application for the visa, you need to have three passport uh, size photos. Um, you have to have 18 months left on your passport, um, so that's something to consider. Um, the $300 that it costs you um, you have to send a money order. They don't accept cash. And what I would recommend you do is to send it registered post. Um, and you have to have a self um, return envelope um, for your passport return, etc. So I would also do that return envelope as registered post if you possibly can, or at least express post. Um, they need one original and two copies of all the information. So I think mine ended up being with, with everything, the medicals, the police clearances, the, um, oh, the other thing you need is a bank statement showing your income um, for the last 12 months and it has to be a certain amount of money. So with all those pages, it ended up being about 19 pages, mine. So, and that's three copies of that. Now all these pages have to be um, signed by a, by a notary public or a 
sorry, is that a public notary? No, a notary public. But, or a JP. Now, I got mine signed by a JP, and she was very good. I mean, uh, she signed all these pages, you know, 57 pages, and she has to check them all too, so, um, and that didn't cost me anything, so I was really, really happy about that. Um, if you go through a notary public, it can cost you money. So um, just be aware of that when you're doing it. Um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I think mine took all up about two weeks to do. Um, but uh, well worth it. Um, get a, get a, a page of your um, passport. The visa goes in there and, uh, and away you go. You can head off to Thailand and um, be happy that you've got 12 months at least. Uh, like I say, if you go to the country, come back in with that visa, you can get another 12 months, unless they change things. The one thing I will say about this visa is, though, back in October 2019, they introduced a health insurance requirement. And that health insurance requirement is 400,000 baht um, inpatient and 40,000 baht outpatient. I think I got that around the right way. So, um, and they've got a certain companies that you can deal with. You can get your own insurance from your own country, but it has to be signed off and declared and, and all that sort of stuff. So I just found it easier to buy the insurance over here. Um, I paid the first year, I think I paid about 37,000 baht for 12 months. And um, I renewed it just not long ago. And, um, uh, it cost me 30, 35,000 baht, I think. I got a discount because I had no claims in the first 12 months, so I was pretty happy with that. But, like, um, I don't mind the insurance. A lot of people don't like it, but I don't think anyone should go and live in another country without being covered with insurance, whether it's travel insurance or health insurance. And even now, uh, a lot of places are wanting COVID coverage, COVID insurance as well, so... I don't have that yet, but um, I'll certainly be looking at maybe getting it. Um, I renewed my visa. Uh, I got an extension not long ago, and of course I had to have the insurance for that. But that's no problems. If you want to, because it's a multi-entry, um, uh, you can come and go as many times as you want in the first year. Um, once you renew it, though, I think um, if you want to leave the country. Um, you need to get a re-entry permit and you can get them at immigration offices or uh, you can get them at the airport. So you can get a single, single re-entry or you can get a multiple. I think the single re-entry is 1,900 baht and I think the multi is 3,800 baht. I could be wrong on that, uh, you will need to check. And like with any of these things, things change so often. Um, so you really need to check at the time you're doing these things. Um, one of the other things in Thailand, and I don't think it matters what visa you're on, uh, every 90 days you have to check in with immigration um, to show them where you are uh, or to tell them where, where you are. Um, currently the, the government is looking at changing that, but uh, with anything in, um, in Thailand, uh, Wait until it actually happens before um, <laughs> be, be, before you do anything because things change so quickly here and um, sometimes you hear rumours and they never happen. So uh, fingers crossed they will get rid of the 90 day reporting but at this moment uh, I still have to do my 90 day reporting. They do have an online system here and they've been having some problems with it. So I think that might be the reasons behind looking at getting rid of it, I'm not sure. But um, my immigration office is about 200, or no, two hours, about over 100 kilometres away from me uh, through a mountain range. So I arranged with them that I could mail in my 90 day report. So um, that made it a lot easier for me instead of driving to the immigration office uh, every three months. So. Things have worked out in the long run anyway. Okay then, um, I'll leave that off there. That's just an uh, explanation of my visa um, and maybe it helps you out a little bit if you're looking at getting a visa.
Ah, oh, one thing I will mention is that with this visa, you have to prove an income. So every month I transfer over 65,000 baht over to Thailand from my Australian account. And it has to be from a foreign account to a Thai bank. Um, so you can, you can do it two ways or three ways. You can do, I do 65,000 baht a month. You can do, put 800,000 baht in a bank account and leave it there for the 12 months. I think it can drop down to 400,000 for a certain amount of time um, during the year. But, but two months or three months before you're about to do your extension, you have to bank, bump it back up to 800,000. Or I, I believe you can also do a combination of the two. Um, the uh, monthly amount and the permanent amount in your in your Thai bank account. So um, every month I transfer at least 65,000 baht over into my Bangkok bank account through a company called, they used to be called TransferWise, they're now called Wise. And um, that's been working well for me. Um, you go to, I'm with Bangkok Bank, so I go to the bank just before I'm about to do my renewal um, I get them to give me a 12 month statement, which can take up to seven days getting it from the Bangkok branch. Um, so you have your bank statement and it's showing all your international transfers into the country. And uh, I didn't have any problems with that last time I did my renewal. So, um, so yeah, that's what I do. And you know, hopefully it's helped you out a little bit. Um, I may look at other, other visas uh, down the track but um, at the moment, I'm quite happy with the OA visa that I have and the extension that I've just got. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again on the next video. Cheers. Okay, newsflash. Um, today is the 17th of June, 2021. And yesterday it was um, published in the uh, Thai media that the government has decided to implement uh, COVID insurance on OA visas. So uh, that means my visa now, when I go to renew it or extend it at the uh, end of this year, I will now have to provide COVID insurance. I got a quick quote from my insurer, Pacific Cross, and they have given me a quote of approximately extra 50,000 baht on the, uh, my existing policy. So like I said before, things change here all the time. So I will now have to weigh up whether I continue with the OA visa or I look at other visas. So just a heads up on that one. Uh, if you're looking at doing the OA, check it out thoroughly and, um, because there are some additional costs that will now cost me an extra three thousand Australian dollars a year to remain in Thailand. Okay, thanks very much. I'll uh, I'll end it off here now. Then, cheers for now. Bye.